Hey guys, it's Jim. How you doing? Um, I've got a little uh, technique I've been kind of playing around with in Luminar. Uh, when I first did the Luminar videos that are on the MacFun website, uh, where I was showing how to use the techniques when the product first launched, one of the things I did, and it's buried somewhere, but it's a portrait. Uh, and one of the things I did is, in order to sort of smooth the skin on the uh, on the model that was in the photo, um, I used structure. And uh, that seems counterintuitive because you think of structure as sort of something you slide to the right and amp up the details. But in this case, I slid it to the left and it actually, you can soften up the details. Well, it got me thinking that you could sort of create sort of some fake focus effects, uh, like a tilt shift, for example. Um, and you can. I just haven't had time to experiment with it until now. So today's the day. Uh, yay. So I'm going to go in here and uh, show you how to do it. So it's very simple and straightforward. Um, in fact, let me close the uh, histogram and the layers because I just want to use filters. And I'm going to go get the structure filter and I'm going to stack it like five times. Let's see, four, five, and then I'm going to get some soft focus. And really all I do is I just drag the amount and the softness to the right and the boost, excuse me, to the left and the boost to the right. And you can see it's sort of softening things up. Well, I'm going to do it again because I've got this filter in here uh, five times. So I'm going to do it five times. And the reason I'm doing it five times is, is purely just experimentation. I was just doing it and doing it until I uh, felt like I was getting enough of this sort of negative structure to create a blur effect, which is basically what I'm doing. Uh, so I keep doing that. And there's five. Now it's pretty blurry, uh, but I'm going to add some soft focus and uh, maybe a little bit of brightness. And then all I'm going to do is get the uh, the brush and come in here with a layer mask and get my, I'm going to leave opacity at 50% and I'm just going to erase it, right? So I'll just come down in here and just kind of erase all this softening and blurring that I've created uh, from the street. Now sort of hit the roof there and I'd rather the roof kind of stay blurry. So, you know, this takes a little bit of work with your mouse. Of course, it depends on the photo uh, and I'm just kind of playing around here, but um, there we go. I mean, it's it's not exactly a tilt shift, so I don't I don't want to oversell this. It's just something kind of fun to experiment with. But there you go. There's a photo that was uh, very much in focus and sharp and crisp. And by the way, this is a single exposure I previously edited edited in Luminar, um, using it for this video because it's kind of an aerial shot from a tower looking down on this town. Uh, this was in um, Rotenburg, Germany. So, uh, but now you have that. It's basically a tilt shift sort of look. So, kind of fun, kind of different, fun to experiment with. You could stack more filters. You could do structure again and again. You could probably do soft focus a couple more times. But I thought it was pretty cool. Uh, I thought I'd do it one more time just to show you what it looks like on a different photo. So, I'm going to go in here and I'm going to grab structure five times again. One, two, three, four, five. And then I'm going to get uh, soft focus as well. And again, just doing the same thing. And I'm dragging the first two to the left and the boost to the right. And so I'm going at, you know, a negative 100, a zero, and a 100. So you got to give me just a second here. Bear with me while I'm dragging these sliders around. Negative, negative, positive. And then this one, I just kind of drag it about something like that. And maybe darken that a little bit. And then again, just go get the brush. And because I'm on a layer, I'm not selecting a filter, so it's not a filter mask. It's a layer mask. And I'm just gonna come in here. Uh, whoops, <laughs> I did that backwards. Let me say edit, undo, that brush stroke. There we go. I need the eraser. So come in here and I just wanna erase it from right up in here. I kinda just wanna give a little bit of focus to this area. Kinda like a tilt shift, you know? Not exactly, but kind of. Um, and there you go. If you just keep painting over this, it'll start to sort of, um, you know, become closer and closer to about 100% opacity. Uh, maybe I add these benches. I'm not sure how that'll look. Maybe kind of cool. The cool thing is, because it's a brush, all you do is if you don't like it, you just go grab the opposite brush, which in this case is to brush it in instead of erase it and just uh, paint it back. So let's say I don't like it over here. I can just come back and, and reapply. So that's how you do it. The only other thing I might do here, just kind of for fun, is to come in here and uh, give you the uh, the name of the hotel, clear that up, 
And then uh, the restaurant too. Maybe I'll just come in here and do that. So you can see, I, I don't know, it's in Germany, but apparently it's a Chinese restaurant. So um, that's good, Chinese food's good. So there you go. Let me show you the before and after. The before, now that I look at it, it kind of hurts my eyes. Um, it's a previously edited photo in Luminar. Obviously I brought up a lot of details. It's very rich in detail. But now it's uh, sort of a soft focus sort of look, uh, somewhat tilt shifty. You can use this on all kind of photos. Uh, you could just do, you know, if you have a center object in the photo that you want to uh, focus on and blur everything else, you could just paint all around it, right? Or actually do the reverse, just erase just the thing in the center. Uh, you could do it on portraits. If you want to create sort of a bokeh, sort of looking blurry background, you could do it that way and just, you know, paint it in around the, the person that you're doing the portrait of or erase it from the person. But just take a, take advantage of the uh, the filter of structure. Just go negative there, negative 100, negative uh, or zero on softness and boost to 100. Stack it several times, add soft focus if you like, and you can create some interesting tilt shift, sort of soft focus or blur effects. It's not gonna do exactly what like, um, you know, other products can do, like the MacFun Focus product, but it's pretty cool, it's unique, it's fun, it's different, something to try. So just a fun tip for today. I hope you like it, I hope it helps. And if you have any questions, let me know. See you next time, friends. Adios.